Sultan Kayan is widely regarded as one of the greatest chess players in history. Coming from India, his med work ascent to prominence in the early 20th century sparked issues about the nature of genius and aptitude. How did this former servant, who learned chess from a British officer, become a formidable opponent against world-class players such as Capablanca and Alekhine? What was the secret to his incredible chess prowess? And what lessons can we learn from his astounding trip across the chessboard? Mur Sultan Khan, a rare chess prodigy, was born in the tiny village of Mithatuwana, located in the heart of Punjab, India, in 1903. However, his path to chess expertise was anything but conventional. Khan's father taught him chess when he was nine years old, laying the groundwork for an astonishing adventure. By the age of 21, he had already achieved the renowned title of Punjab's reigning chess champion, leaving a trail of awe and admiration behind him. Sultan Khan's life took an interesting turn in the tragic year of 1926, when he was employed by Major General Nawab Sir Umar Hayat Khan, a legendary Rajput warrior and powerful landowner in the center of Punjab. Nobody could have predicted that this union would set off a new era in chess. Sir Umar, a keen chess player himself, was immediately captivated by Sultan Khan's razor-sharp mind. It resembled a chess game played in the great arena of fate. Sultan Khan easily mesmerized everyone in his way with his natural gift. His amazing skills on the chessboard won him the respect and admiration of all those who witnessed it. His chess skill became the stuff of legends. Sultan Khan set out on a trip to London with Sir Umar at his side one that would go into chess history as a legendary event. He took on powerful European opponents, including the current British champion Frederick Yates, in a crucial come-across that created excitement throughout the chess world. Sultan Khan sparked his climb as a rising star inside the global chess, set with his attractive show of chess skills and steadfast dedication. A chess legend had been born in this remote place. In the years that followed, Sultan Khan traveled the world playing chess, challenging and outwitting some of his era's most formidable opponents, including chess celebrities Alexander Alekhine and Dosa Capablanca. His chess skills shined brilliantly, resulting in a streak of spectacular victories. To put it in context, he won the British Championship three times in four attempts, demonstrating his exceptional talent and supremacy on the chessboard. But in the history of chess, an odd turn of events occurred in 1950. The respected titles of International Grandmaster, GM, and International Master, IM, were first awarded by FIDE, the organization that rules international chess. However, by that time, Mur Sultan Khan had been retired for more than 15 years. Although the FIDE did award these titles to retiring chess legends who had achieved great success in the past, including Akiba Rubinstein and Carlos Tor, Sultan Khan was not included in this list. Maybe it was because he had given up playing competitive chess long ago, or because he had hung up his board before the Grandmaster title was created. Nevertheless, the World Chess Federation, Fai He, recognized Sultan Khan's lasting impact on the game of chess and added him to the group of chess legends, thus maintaining his legacy. Chess lovers all across the world are still attracted and inspired by his contributions to the game. In recognition of his tremendous contributions to the chess world, the World Chess Federation, Fai He, has conferred upon Sultan Khan the renowned title of a chess immortal. Early in the 1940s, Sultan Khan left the game of chess behind and moved back to his birthplace of Sargava, which lies in the center of Punjab, Pakistan. There, he quietly retired from the public eye and lived peacefully. At 63 years old, Sultan Khan's incredible journey came to an end in 1966. His struggle with tuberculosis, TB, defined the last chapter of his life, taking it in Sargava. Even while he may not be as well known now, his influence in the chess community remains, which is a credit to both his great talent and the passionate dedication with which he enhanced the game. As we traveled through the fascinating life and exploits of Sultan Khan, the chess world's indisputable diamond, one question remains, can anyone truly claim to be the best chess player in history? While the argument continues, Sultan Khan's incredible narrative will serve as a reminder that greatness knows no borders 
and may arise from the most unlikely locations. 